What's up, X-Men fans? It's the Emerald Enthusiast, back with another action figure review. This time I'm taking a look at the Hasbro Titan Hero Series X-Men 97 action figure of Wolverine. Let's have a quick look at the packaging. On the front it says X-Men 97 Wolverine. On the side we get this shot of Wolverine from the series. We get a similar shot on the back and product information on the back bottom. On the top of the packaging we see some of the characters from the upcoming series. And more product information on the bottom. And on the side we see a plethora of characters from the upcoming X-Men 97 series. This is open window packaging. It means there is no plastic here. And I think that's a great idea. It means no wasted materials. And with no further ado, now it's time to bust this figure out of the package and see what's inside. And here we see Wolverine out of the package and ready to rumble. This figure has a great deal to offer for the price point, although there are some areas that could have used improvement. So let's take a closer look at the loose details now. Wolverine is clad in a bright yellow, blue, and black color scheme. There is some black paint missing from the front of the boots, as well as the X symbol on the red belt. However, for the most part, this costume is an accurate representation of the costume that we saw on the iconic 1992 X-Men animated series. The tops of the boots are sculpted, and that really enhances the figure's look. The shape of the black trim on the torso is accurate, and Wolverine's trademark claws are visible. Although I would have preferred a metallic finish on these to represent the adamantium, I didn't expect that at this price point. However, you can clearly see Wolverine's hairy forearms represented on the box art. That detail is absent on the figure, and I really wish that it were there. Wolverine has the stocky build that the character is known for. And while I am appreciative of that, there is some muscle definition missing, especially on the legs. On the bright side, this figure is very sturdy, so you shouldn't have to worry about it falling over if you display it on a shelf. Here's a closer look at the head sculpt, and I can actually remember some fans back in the early 90s saying that this version of the mask was too garish, but I think it looks magnificent on an action figure. I really like how glossy the black sections are. Here's a look at the back of the mask. And I really appreciate how realistic this expression looks. You can see that the brow and the mouth work in concert to complete this sneer. And that's a very fitting expression for Wolverine. Here's a closer look at the claws. And I am thoroughly impressed by the sculpting here. These are spot on. I do have to issue one caveat here. Even though these are not sharp, they are somewhat stiff. So if you decide to give this figure as a gift to a child, make sure that you caution that child not to get these too close to their face. In terms of articulation, you can get the figure to kick forward this far. You can get him into a full split. So I really appreciate that. You can also get the legs to rotate in the hip joints like this. And so that gives you posing options. Unfortunately, he does not step back and I didn't expect that. And like other Titan Hero Series figures, he does not have any articulation in the torso. However, I do appreciate this rotation at the top of the gloves. 
That allows you to achieve different angles with the claws. And you can see that demonstrated here. You can raise the arms up from the sides this much and you can rotate them in the shoulder joint. So I really appreciate that. You can get the arms to rotate around, but it's not a true 360 because these shoulder portions stop the arms from going directly over his head. In terms of the head sculpt, the head moves side to side, but it's not a fluid movement. And that's the extent of the articulation. It doesn't move up or down, and there is no head tilting. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this review. And please, tell all of your friends about this channel. I would certainly appreciate it. And I'll be back with more action figure related content soon. But until we meet again, this has been the Emerald Enthusiast, and thanks for watching.